Today we're looking at Junebug, a Plat 1 brig on console. They requested this review on the Overwatch University subreddit, where they wrote, I had a close loss on Circuit Royale where I played brig. I'd mostly like critiques on my positioning and decision making, who to push, who to stay with, etc. I felt like this was winnable, but we didn't get to push the payload all the way, and maybe it was because I was letting teammates die, I staggered us. Yeah, staggers can definitely cause it. Um, and Brig is somebody where you definitely want to be like playing with your team. You don't want to be going off on your own. Um, and you just want to make sure they're getting the Inspire, you're packing people properly. Those are the type of things that I'll be paying attention to. Uh, so we'll get right into it. Uh, so first thing we always want to do is take a look at our team comp. So we got Sigma, Soldier Farah, Ana Brig. Okay, uh, so you got the Ana. Ana Brig is very meta. You can definitely think about just bodyguarding Ana, uh, depending on where Soldier is. Um, you could think about playing with him too. In fact, the three of you could even just play as a unit, just so you know they're staying safe. They're getting your Inspire. Um, I definitely want you paying attention to Farah too. She is um, she is absolutely going to need your armor packs. You're going to have a much better, easier job than than Ana will as far as just keeping her up. So. Yeah, that's what I would be thinking about. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, be careful about your pack use. Like right there where Sigma was uh, full HP, I definitely don't want you throwing throwing that on him. In fact, I don't want you uh, packing your tank at all unless like he's low and you absolutely need to keep him up. Otherwise, I want you to just really save those for like your Ana and your DPS. Barrier, I just want to see their their HP when you threw that. Uh... Okay, that was that was valid. Anna was half HP. It was tough to really see because you only you flicked to her, but good awareness. I think uh, so. There, I think Anna needed our pack instead of instead of Sigma. Yeah, so we, we're throwing. Yeah, we're we're we threw two packs on Sigma, and now we're packless. And Anna needs the healing, and we're we're not giving it to her. So it's like I said at the beginning. Like, don't even worry about Sigma unless you absolutely need to keep it up. Let Ana deal with it. Like, I could understand, um, I could understand packing Sigma once because he's crit, but uh, you definitely, you want to try to just hold on to one pack at all times uh, in an emergency situation. Like, right now, this would qualify just keeping Ana off. If we had uh, held one of those packs, we could have, uh, we could have given it to Ana, but let's see what happens. Yeah, like we're using all our packs on Sigma. This is not what I want. I, what I want to see you doing. I think the other person who commented on your your Reddit post mentioned this, but uh, but like, see how our, our Ana died. Um, I think uh, well, she did die to a Hanzo, so I just want to see her HP. Yeah, she kind of died fast there, so I don't know if you could have saved her, but even so, like, I want to see you saving those packs. Use your shield. You could even think about uh, just using your shield bash to just go grab this health pack right here, just so you can, uh, you know, just so you can try to stay alive. Although it might be a little bit tough. Your Ana's dead. Your, um, you know, your Ana's dead. Your your Fair is dead. Honestly, at this point, it's probably better to just uh, get out or die as quickly as you can. Especially now, you're the only one here. Like honestly, you could just run it. Like if you don't think you can get out of here. Just run into the enemies, like just let Hanzo kill you, just so you can die quick and then regroup quick. Ana's coming down here. Okay, so Ana came here, it looks like kind of to help you. And, you know, she died because of it. Is that your fault? I mean, no, Ana, Ana should have been a little smarter and know not to, to come over here and feed. But at the same time, you know, she she did that because you were, you know, because you didn't die, because you were kind of kind of staggering yourself. So that's just something to think about. But our team does come with us. Um, it could just be a little bit tough without our Ana here. 
Yeah, so I think you I think you realized a little late, but Oh wait, no, your shield bash was uh your shield bash was two seconds off cooldown. Never mind. Yeah, run off map is uh, Amando's right. Running off map is better if possible because then you don't give the enemy team all charge at all. I have a new plan this time. Yeah, I mean, I guess it I guess it worked out there as far as like we were able to stay alive long enough for our team to regroup, but I'm very surprised that happened to be honest with you. Our Winston went in a little bit too fast. You know, you got to play a little bit slower as a tank. That that death um maybe we could have packed him, but honestly that that's not your fault at all. I would just think about backing out, which is what you did. So you could think about just, uh, you know, using your shield bash to get back here. I mean, I guess this is fine if you're waiting for your team. I could just be very tough. You don't have a lot of, um, you don't have a lot of cover. I'd like to see you just at least duck behind something while you're, while you wait for your team to push up because your shield, um, your shield could get broken pretty fast and then you could get caught out. But it's fine. We're staying a little safe. We have the packs there for Anna. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I think maybe we could have been playing a little bit more back, but that's tough. Meteor strike. Try to stay safe. I would just try to shield bash as soon as uh, you know where Doom's coming to get away. But your your team's also kind of dead, so it's it's also better to, to stagger. I mean to, to to die and regroup. So we did made a couple switches. We got a Roadhog and a Moira now. Uh, Moira is going to be a lot more survivable than Ana, so you could really think about like working with your DPS now. That's really what I would think about doing: work with Cass, work with Soldier. Yeah, especially now you have a Roadhog who's going to self-heal. I especially do not want to see you packing him unless you absolutely need to. So we got our rally again. Okay, they switched to Maga. We don't know. We don't necessarily know that in the moment. Um, we could really think about as soon as the enemy team really pushes in. You know, we could think about using our rally to, to maybe kind of shut that down. Maybe we can, like, you know, stun the MAGA as our team pushes into him or something. Obviously, you don't straight up 1v1 him, but... Like, even right here. Yeah, I think we should have ulted there. Yeah, this is kind of a, a this is kind of a tough team comp now to make Brig work into because Brig's more anti dive, you know, like DPS that are just gonna poke from a distance, like the Zen, even like the Kiriko. Unless unless they get close, it's gonna be very tough for you to 
you know, to really do much. Once again, I think you should just sit on top of like, sit on top of your soldiers, sit on top of your cast, and just enable them to do things. Like even like up here, with uh, you know your soldier and cast. I mean your 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 soldier and your sigma. Excuse me, are are controlling this high ground. If your Moira is not going to play up here with them, like it looks like she's kind of DPSing. I'd like to see you like just maybe just rotate with them and just kind of you know kind of keep them just give them the self sustain they need to hold this high ground. But we needed to do that a lot sooner than here if we were going to do it because what happens is. So we're just hanging out here. Like our soldier and our Sigma are rotating. Like you could see if, um, I mean, for one, you want to play with somebody as Brig. You know, you don't need to guard Moira, as we said. Your your cast is coming back from spawn. 100%, I would think about rotating with these guys. You want to be able to, you know, give them the inspire. As opposed to you just hanging out here on your own. Now, I mean, you're with your Moira, but like, not only are you, you know, not with the rest of your team, but now like the Jonker Queen's pushing into you and you just, you die really fast. So 100% like you don't need to, you don't need to sit on top of Moira. She should be able to keep herself alive. I really want to see you sitting on top of like the DPS. We're still holding on to this ult. Which is fine. We we won our team won this fight, but that's a that's a few fights now we've we've had this ult and haven't used it. Like even right here, once again, your soldier and your um and your Sigma are holding this high ground, and your Moira is down here DPSing. So these guys are trying to, you know, trying to hold this area to poke, but they got no sustain whatsoever besides Soldier's Healing Station. 100% um, like you should be playing up there with them. Like if Moira wants to hang over here where Cass is, you can go up here where, where they are. I, I think ideally, I think Moira would be better up here, but you also got to recognize, you know, what your what your other support is doing especially and adjust your playstyle accordingly yeah as soon as doom pushes in you could think about popping this um you could think about popping this rally, uh, even like as as Amando pointed out earlier, um, the cooldown for shield bash resets on rally. So you could think about shield bash, rally, shield bash. Like even, it's tough. Yeah, I, I definitely, we definitely wanted to use this ult sooner once again. Now we're using it, but like we lost our tank. We just lost our soldier. about three fights too late. So you're you're packing uh what's it called? You're packing Sigma once again. Your Moira, where is she? Actually kinda curious. She is way off here DPSing. Okay, so you are playing Brig with a DPS Moira. That is that is very tough. I mean, that's not necessarily your fault, but yeah, I mean, this is another one of those rare instances where I'm gonna say, like, if you find yourself having to keep the tank up, you might want to consider swapping off Brig if you if your you know if your team is having trouble staying alive and like your your other support isn't healing. Uh, like Anna, Bap, uh, Kiriko, Life Weaver, Yari uh, would all be would all be better picks in this scenario. I mean, they're they're getting picks, which is good, but 
I'm just saying, like, if you find yourself having to, like, heal and babysit the tank a lot, might be better to not play Brig. Now we're using all our packs on him. Moira should be doing that. Moira should be doing the healing, but... Nice. You stun Doom, set up the, uh, set up the grenade. Nice try. Yeah, he does. So Doom does eventually die and largely because of you. That was, that was a good job. Right? Yeah. Yeah, punish the Zen. He's too far forward. That time we use rally fast. Okay, so it looks like we hold the round. I mean, hold the hold the third point. So let's see how the next round goes. Okay, so just quickly looking at our team. I mean, pretty much same thing as before. Um, they got a Ramatra now, so you want to be really careful. Ram is one of the worst matchups for Brig. Um, you know, if he gets in on Nemesis form, he's just gonna, if he gets in your face, like he's just gonna eat you up. So try to stay away from him for sure. This is one of those comps where like Torb's a terrible matchup for Brig, Zen, from a distance at least. Ass, um, yeah, it can be really tough to to make him her work here, but let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. Rocking his fire. Yeah, this is fine in this case. Just let your team push up and just keep rocking his fire to, to give them the sustain they need. Nice. Oh, that's a brutal line by, uh, by Brig when she kills Torb. Yeah, let your let your soldier push cart. Yeah, so where's your team? Your cast and your soldier over there. Your Sigma's kind of off on his own. Yeah. You, okay, I think this is fine. I think we're using the packs a little early, but honestly, our, our cast is popping off, so who cares? Definitely pack him. Perfect. So you said you lost the round, so I'm interested in seeing where it goes wrong. I'm guessing this is one of those games where like you it's smooth sailing all the way up to third point, and then it kind of kind of goes down from there. So you can definitely think you just got rally. Definitely think about punishing them as they push in. Maybe you can shut down the shut down the Moira ult. Even like you hear Torb like using his molten core, you could even pop the rally and then throw up your shield just to, you know, just to deny him. Just to deny him that coom all over the all over the cart. Yeah, so I mean, it, I think we might still win, but you know, Soldier died and you died, and I think if we had popped all there, that could have been avoided. Yeah, so it looks like we lost the fight. Um, 100%, I think, if this has happened a couple times where we've held on to alt a little bit too long, especially when people are pushing in, I wanna see you just pop it. You can utilize the stun, you can utilize the sustain it gives your, your teammates. Yeah, 
yeah, like this is a little bit, a uh, little bit too early. See how we just spent the first few seconds of our rally not really doing anything. I want to see you like, like, you know, like over here, ready to ready to push right in as soon as uh, as soon as you activate that. But we do kill the Torb. Yeah, don't even worry about the turret. You're pretty much everybody, like your your tank and your DPS will do a much better job of taking care of that. I want to see you uh, focus on targets or focus on working with your team. Yeah, we killed the Torb and I think we pushed a little bit too far. Yeah, you don't always need to get in and brawl. Um, I would really only do that if you're like behind, um, um, like behind one of your teammates. I get like you finished off the Torb, that was great. I would then think about like backing up and repositioning. It's it's not your job to take care of a turret spray. Yeah, this is fine. Shield off your DPS this is exactly what I want to see you do. Yeah, shield up. So, like, if you're Cass High Noons, love to see you just get in front and shield him. 100%. Hack him as needed to keep him up and shield him from damage, too. But he, he pops off even without that, so it's fine. So we got alt again. Yeah, you can hold on your Moira pop coal so we can wait on the... You're trying to help your, your soldier here. Once again, turret is not your job. I get you're trying to... I get you're trying to help your soldier, but I would literally just ignore the turret and just try to pack him and then go back to this fight, but... Yeah, it's a little, it's a little tough. Your, your Sigma died there. Might have been able to pack him, but it's, it's not your job to, to keep the tank up his brick. So I just wait, regroup. Yeah, I wouldn't drop down for, for Sigma. Yeah, so it's it's like we were saying before, it's not your not your job to it's not your job to help the the Sigma. I mean I guess you can you can throw a health pack if you want, but I would definitely would have stayed up here with your um you know, with your soldier and your cast. Maybe we could have maybe we could have done something about the the death. I mean granted he did get headshot, so it's tough, but I don't want to see you down here, especially like when you're the rest of your team besides Sigma are, um, are up there. Yeah, we might have been able to to pack cast sooner there, but. Yeah, we're kind of frontlining here. This is dangerous. But I understand the thought process. You did kind of make space for your team. Yeah, this is uh, this is too far. Yeah, you get bailed out hard by your Moira there. 
Yeah, so be really careful about it. I just want to see uh, that, that shield bash she did. I did this a couple times too in um in the, the break game I just played, but I didn't really get punished for it. Where you kind of shield bash aggressively into enemies. Like, yeah, you do it here. These guys are full HP. The I want you using, once again, I want you using shield bash as a mobility tool, um, you know, to keep yourself safe. Unless, like, you can push in a target and finish them off. Like, right now, these guys are full HP. You can't do that. So, just what you do is you put yourself in this very dangerous situation. Um, and now you don't have that shield bash to escape. And then, uh, you know, very lucky you get bailed out. But that is how you die a spray. Like, that's good. You know, use the shield bash to finish, uh, finish off your team. So I know we finished off the, um, I know we finished off the Kiriko here, but I just want to back that up. So we kill the Kiriko. Your, your number one thought should be going back to your team now. We don't do that. We kind of poke and take this off angle. And Brig is one of the few again. characters where you don't want to go off angle on your own. If you were Bap, if you were Ana, wouldn't be terrible, but like because we just hang out here too long instead of regrouping with our team, um, what happens is we lose our we lose our cast. We might have been able to pack him. I don't know if we could have done anything about the Moira because. Our Moira's right over here, DPSing out in the open. But, uh, but yeah, I would definitely think about giving your team the going back to your team and giving them the sustain. Don't don't pack uh once again, don't pack Sigma anymore. Especially when you see Moira healing him. Yeah, you're a little too far once again. Um I get put I get like um you know you're you're with your, your cast and your Moira and you wanna push them in. I just wait until you get a little bit closer to pop that all. Yeah, do not focus the turret. This is not your job. Yeah, and because you you push out here, you, you get you get caught out. Um, you have DPS, and even Sigma can do like can handle that turret much better than you. I want you to just play play back a little bit more and uh, focus on keeping them safe. And that's the game. It's hard when you can't flail, you fail. Yeah. Yeah, but nice job. Um, I definitely would like to see you, for one, we, what we talked about with pack usage. Um, I don't want you see. I don't want you using it on the tank unless he's gonna die. Um, you absolutely need to keep him up. Other than that, I really just want to see you just working with like DPS, your other support if it's an Ana. If it's a Moira, you know you can pack them as needed, but obviously you don't have to worry about them as much. Um, holding on to alts, I think that definitely hurt us. Um, there was one point we we held on to that rally for, I think it was three fights. Um, I'd rather see you just use it too often than not often enough. Because like, even if, you know, even if we used that rally in like the first fight and fumbled it, we could have very well had rally again by the time we, we finally used it. Um, so especially when enemies are really pushing in um if there's like alts you can counter those are times you can think about using it but um regardless i don't want to see you just holding on to it and then yeah the last thing is just with the turrets uh, you were very focused a few times on the turrets um yeah don't go chasing them don't go like don't put yourself in compromising positions just to take care of the turret uh, you can call out to your team hey guys take care of the turret if they're not doing it but otherwise especially when you got teammates who can who can handle that i really want to see you um yeah i really want to see you just playing back and 
and just supporting them as they kill the target instead. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for now. Let me know if you have any questions. If anyone would like to request a VOD review, check the link in the description. And best of luck with your climb.